Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV. Uh, hello, Lexi, how's it going? Hi, <laughs> hey, I'm good. How are you? Good. So we're getting this movie that's coming out. Obviously, you've been doing a lot of work lately. What went into saying yes to taking on this project? Gosh, I mean, for me, I'm very particular about the projects that I choose to take on. Um, I'm always very particular in choosing it because I want to be accurate um, and careful when it comes to the representation that, um, you know, that I portray on screen. And then also just wanting to be a part of good projects that are impactful stories and that start conversations. And for this specifically, this, this, I feel like this film does that. I mean, you have the element of the gender role reversal. And what I love so much about Kira is that, you know, she's not the damsel in distress, like waiting to be rescued. She's, she's smart and she's relatable and, and she's passionate and she's creative. And um, I felt like that was really inspiring. And that was one of the main reasons why I jumped onto the project. And then also, it's a musical and who doesn't love musicals? They're incredibly fun to watch and even more fun to make. Not only is it a musical, but are you a basketball fan in general? And are you a sneakerhead before or after you did this project? <laughs> yeah, um, I am a basketball fan and I'm also a sneakerhead. My dad actually loves basketball. And so growing up, I used to watch some of the games with him. And fun fact, actually, I usually don't talk about this, but um, I used to actually sing the national anthem for the Wizards. It was one of my Look very first jobs yeah I used to sing it at the Wizards games and so I would always I would always have the option they would be like you know you have school in the morning if you want to go you go home you don't have to stay for the game and I would always toughen it out and stay for the games because I just loved watching it so much um and with sneakers I mean who doesn't love sneakers I mean I just feel like they're just so much more than something that you put on your feet uh, it's a form of uh creativity it's a way to express yourself um, and I've been a sneakerhead forever, and I feel like I became even more of one, which I didn't even think was possible after filming. Um, so yeah, I love sneakers. I think that it's dope they were adding that element. You know, having done theater, what was it like getting back into the musical genre? Uh, gosh, it was really, it was really fun. Really fun, but also something that I was a little nervous of, honestly, just simply because I hadn't done it in quite a while. Um, after I did Broadway, I kind of, you know, put all a lot of my focus into acting and singing. Um, so singing, none of that was hard, but it was the dancing aspect that was a bit of a challenge for me. Um, but after, you know, hours and hours of consistency and practice. Um, I got it. And it was really cool because we had a great support system um, when it came to the choreography team and the rest of the cast. We motivated each other. We were consistently rehearsing with each other, just making sure that everyone got it. And in the end, it was all worth it. I mean, because I am pretty proud of the work we did. I think that it looks really cool. You know, the good thing about you is that you got a lot of projects going up and we can also see you on the First Lady playing Malia Obama. What was that experience like? Gosh, that experience was, I words can't even describe. Like, I just feel so honored to have been a part of telling that story. Um, I, I've always had respect for the First Family, um, but specifically, I, I really gained more respect after, specifically with the phrase of um, when they go low, we go high. All of that, it resonates differently after being, you know, able to kind of get a real glimpse in, into what the Obama family went through, um, you know, to still give and be kind in the midst of people just disrespecting you, your family and everything that you stand for. It, it takes a lot of resilience. And I cannot thank that entire team enough, but specifically our director, um, Suzanne um, Beer, and, and of course the queen Viola Davis, um, because, they just taught me so much in that short amount of time that we were filming, but specifically, and it goes right along with, with Kira and everything that she stands for, um, to, to always speak up and to use your voice. And oftentimes as women in those spaces, it, it's very easy to feel as though uh, we can't speak up or, or, you know, it's easy to feel timid. Um, but they showed me that I didn't have to feel timid and that if, you know, something was on my mind, I could absolutely say it. And they created such a safe space. Um, and it was such a beautiful, beautiful process creating that that story um, or creating, you're bringing that story to life because it's really the first time that you, you're able to get a glimpse into all three of, of what those families went through. 
Well, with both of those roles, you know, you did an amazing job. I'm sure we're going to talk down the road because, as I said, you're always working. So <laughs> much success. Keep it going. We're here to support. Wherever you're at, take care. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.